After having a baby, you can plan on seeing the pediatrician a lot during the first two years. Um, to be specific, at one or two weeks of life, and then again at two, four, six, nine, 12, 18, and 24 months. Thereafter, it's about every year. And of course, you're gonna go to the pediatrician in between if you have concerns or your child gets sick. But at the very least, these well checks need to be made and kept because the pediatrician is looking for a lot of different things that are signs that your baby's growing well and meeting certain developmental milestones. One of the most important things a doctor will do is get your child's head circumference, their weight, and their height. And then it, it's going to be plotted on a graph, and you'll get a number that's somewhere between 0 and 100. And this is like 100 percentile or 10th percentile. And um, what these numbers mean, basically, is that if you were to take 100 kids at, at your baby's same age, same gender, and line them all up, then each child is going to fit in a slot from zero to 100. And of course, like the 50th percentile is right in the middle. Um, like the first percentile is super, super small and the 99th percentile is, is a lot bigger than the norm for that age and gender. The number is not as important as the trend, and this is what your pediatrician is going to be watching. They want to make sure that your baby is growing, and so the percentile may about stay the same at each appointment, or vary even from appointment to appointment, but it's it's about what it was overall. So they're going to compare the graph to what your baby's history is, and if they see any red flags or concerns, then they'll talk to you about those things. And again, these well child visits are there to help catch problems and intervene early. So if they find that a child is not growing well, then they can look into underlying causes or maybe um, like a change in diet is necessary or sur certain supplements are necessary. And, um, or take a child that's um, looking like they're trending towards obesity, the doctor can intervene and talk to you about um, diet changes and exercise and those types of things. Genetics, environment, nutrition, health problems, and activity will all be taken into consideration and the doctor will determine if any of those are, are affecting your baby's growth. And then, of course, if they feel like further investigation or treatment is necessary, they'll talk to you about it. Don't ever leave a doctor's appointment with questions. If you have concerns about your baby or child, you don't understand what the numbers mean, then talk with the doctor before you leave and they'll be able to explain why, why they are or aren't concerned about your child's well-being. If you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.